Abend, Volksbühne. Das erste Mal, als ich hier war, war es zusammen mit Janis Varoufakis. Das zweite Mal, wenn ich hier war, war es zusammen mit Julian Assange. Und das dritte Mal ist es jetzt mit Janis Varoufakis und Julian Assange. But I really hope that the next time when we will all together be here or, or at a much bigger place, Julian Assange will be together with us in person. Because if you learned anything from the recent years, including the case of Julian Assange, including the case of Chelsea Manning, including the case of Edward Snowden, including secret agreements as TTIP, TISA, TTIP, and so on, it is that the dream of the marriage between capitalism and democracy is over. If you learned anything from the last year, it is that the dream of the marriage between power and politics in the, na in the hands of the nation state is also over. Unfortunately, we have seen it last year with the experience of Syriza. But let us be clear here, even with a self-critique, the failure of Syriza, the experience of Syriza and what happened in Greece after the referendum is not only a problem of Syriza. It is a failure of the European left. It is a failure of all of us. And this is the reason why even the victory of Podemos in Spain, although it would be really, really nice and we all support it, is not enough. This is the reason even if the victory of Die Linke in Germany is not enough. This is the reason even if... Excuse me? Yeah, I mean, it would be okay. <laughs> Let's see what would happen then. <laughs> but we support you, of course. This is also the reason why the victory of the Labour Party in Britain would be fine, but also we support it. But even if we have all these victories, even if Blockupy occupies every square in Europe, it is also not enough. Even if, even if we are in all the theatres in Europe, it is also not enough. And this is the reason why we need a pan-European movement. We need all of this. We need representatives of political parties. We need, we need rebel cities. We need classical political parties, new political parties, but we also need movements such as Blockupy. And we need a radical European answer to the common problems. Because just take the refugee crisis, for instance. Only last year we had one million people entering the European Union. According to the data of the International Monetary Fund, it's not some ideology of crazy leftists or Greens or whomever. Uh, this year we will have 1.3 million refugees entering the European Union. According to the latest data, 10,000 children of refugees got lost. At least this is what the media says. We know very well that those children didn't get lost. Those children were kidnapped for prostitution, they were victims of selling organs and so on. And this is also our common European responsibility. Why is it our European responsibility? Where did that war from Syria come from? Did it come from Syria? Yes and no. But the war in Syria came among other things. It was born among other things from out of European Union. It was born out of our own humanitarian, so-called humanitarian, so-called democratic interventions, not only in Syria, but in forgotten Iraq, in forgotten Afghanistan, in Niger, in Mali, and in Libya. So when you have the refugee crisis as a consequence of our European wars, can it be solved by investing 3 billion euros into Turkey? Can it be solved by outsourcing the refugee crisis to Turkey, to the periphery of the European Union? No, of course. Can terrorism in Paris and Brussels and so on be solved by reinforcing the state of surveillance, by reinforcing the police state, by reinforcing the state of emergency? No, it can't. Those who created the problems in the European Union cannot be the ones who, do, who will solve it.
and to end, because we have some other surprises for you as well, how do we get out of this European deadlock? Our answer, the answer of DM, and that's the reason why we are all together here tonight, is that we can get out of this impasse of the European Union. It is only by a common pan-European mobilization, and it is only by an organization which would work on it. And if you ask me, didn't we try this already before? Today, during the sessions, we had comrades who participated in the last 10 decades in the World Social Forum, in the European Social Forum. We shared protests, squares, from Syntagma Square to Tunisia to Dakar. We were participating in the Alter, Alter Summit. We were supporters of Syriza, as we are now supporters of Podemos, and so on. So if you ask us, didn't we try again? Where are these movements? Didn't some of the forums fail, and so on? Since we are in a theater, I can only end and answer by quoting Samuel Beckett. Try again, fail again, fail better.